Welcome back. We are going to look at another example of a chi-squared hypothesis test. And uh, this time we're going to have fun with some random numbers. So you're the mathematics expert now at this point. Uh, you can generate 300 random numbers from 0 to 10 with ease. And we get the following results kind of shown here. So uh, does this distribution differ significantly from the expected distribution at the 1% significance level? So let's go ahead and do our hypothesis testing. So H0, so frequencies are same. Alternative, different. What's my confidence interval? Well, 1% significance, so alpha equals 0 0.01. What's my chi-squared experimental? I need to calculate that. Five, what about my chi-squared alpha nu? So again, nu is equal to k minus one minus r. Is this saying, is it normally distributed or is it, uh, is this a uniform distribution? No, so we're not concerned with r at all, that's zero. But what are our number of outcomes? Is k 300? No, we can generate numbers between zero to 10 with equal probabilities. So we need to do, that is basically the number of possible outcomes, the number of variables is k equals 11. So if k equals 11, we know that our new is equal to 10. So uh, I know that then my chi squared is gonna be, can my chi squared be 0.01 divided by two? No, we're never alpha over two because the right skewed. So one and just like we see here, and if we look at our table, chi squared, 0, 101, 10, 23.209. So this equals 3.09. So I have all these kind of different um, possible values. So if I generate 300 random numbers, I should have an equal number, you know, probabilistically, if again, if it's completely random, of generating 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if I want to figure out what my expected value is, so this is my random number generator. So these are my list of random numbers. I want to count how many times I get 0 to, uh, zero to 10. Uh, so I see right here, I get 16 times, 38 times, 22 times, 20, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. My expected value would just be, again, 300 should be divided by 11 and evenly distributed here. I do my observed my expected, chi squared, and that's it. So my chi squared experimental is 17.753. Let's go back here. Equals 17.73. And again, we can look back at our hypothesis testing. So we know for a right skewed test, this is 23.209. My chi-square experimental falls over here, 17. So we are in the do not reject region. So we can trust Mathematica. Uh, <laughs> the frequencies should be the same. Um, uh, I have a fun kind of little story. So when I was an undergraduate student, I had to do an experiment where we were simulating the random walk exhibited by bacterial E. coli using magnetic particles. So I had to generate random numbers of moving right, moving left. I did about, I'd say, uh, without kidding, uh, basically these two minute videos, probably about 2000 of them, realizing uh, later on that I didn't have, I had bias in my random walk, so they weren't truly random, so I had to redo all those experiments. So uh, I love Mathematica, as you all know in this course, but uh, be careful. <laughs> Always do your chi-squared and count uh, your random number list to make sure that they're truly random. All right. so. Next time, we're going to talk about uh, the movie Casino and Ace Rothstein, and uh, we'll do one more example, and then we'll get into some um, seeing if our distribution is normally distributed, or is it a chi-square distribution, is it a wavel distribution, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and see you next time. Thanks. Bye.